All right, now we're on the back side, P78. Okay, number one, Cran Soy Trail Mix costs $2.99 for five ounces. Raisin Nut Mix costs $3.41 for seven. Lots of Cashew costs seven oh four dollars for eight. And Nuts for You costs two forty dollars for six. List the Trail Mix brown brands in order from the least expensive to the most expensive. So again, you need to find the unit rate. Don't just say, oh, $2.40 is the least. That's not what they're asking. It's per pa per ounce, excuse me, per ounce. That's what's going to tell us what is the cheapest. Okay, so again, you're going to need to do the division. The first one, five ounces is $2.99. By doing this division, you'll be able to figure out how much it costs for one ounce. Then you'll do the division for the next one. Seven ounces is $3.41. If you do this division, you'll find out how much it costs for one ounce. Next one, uh, eight ounces is $7.04. Do the division, and then you'll find out how much it costs for one ounce. And then again here, six ounces is two dollars and forty cents when you do the division that will tell you how much it costs for one ounce and then once you get these answers you're going to compare these answers and see which one is the least and that will tell you which brand is the least amount per ounce and the biggest number from these answers is going to tell you which brand is the most expensive okay number two same idea, Aaron's heart beats 166 times in 120 seconds, Callie's in 88 times in 60, 48 in 30, 22 in 15 for uh, gallon or galen. And then which two students' heart rates are equivalent? Okay, so um, again, you can do unit rates for this one. Okay, so uh, we know it beats 166 times in 120 seconds. Find out how uh, how many times it beats, or it beats one time in how many seconds. And then the same thing over here, 88 into 60, 48 into 30, and 22 into 15 and then see which one you get an equivalent uh, or an equal decimal, okay, an equal uh, uh, number. You're going to have decimals for all of these, and then just do your division. You're going to have to add a zero behind for all of these, and then you just do your division. But again, if you have trouble with the division, don't hesitate to raise your hand. We'll go through the steps of long division again. Okay, number three, Cortland combines seven eighths cup of sour cream with one half cup cream cheese. She then divides the mixture between two bowls. How much mixture does Cortland put in each bowl? Okay, so um, I'm going to combine this, I'm going to make these uh, equivalent fractions, so I want to make them both eighths. So I already have seven eighths, one half, if I want it to be equivalent with a denominator of eight, I'm going to have to multiply that by four to get eight, kind of like what we were doing yesterday, multiply the top by the same number. So she's combining seven eighths and four eighths, that's going to be 11 eighths, and then she's dividing that into two bowls, okay? So 11 eighths divided by two, and now I can just do my copy, change, and two is the same thing as two over one, so I find the reciprocal of that, which would be one over two, and then I can multiply. So, 11 16 cups in each bowl. Okay, number four, write a comparison using less than or greater than to show the relationship between uh, the absolute value of negative two-thirds 
and negative 5 6. So remember the absolute value is just how far away from zero this is. So negative two thirds is two thirds units away from zero. I'm gonna put that circle, that's where you're gonna put your greater than or less than sign. And then negative five sixths. Well, you can obviously see if one is positive and one is negative, the positive number is going to be greater. Okay, number five, 18 tires. There are 18 tires on one truck. How many tires are there on three trucks of the same type? So this is just a multiplication problem. One is uh, 18, or we can do it as a ratio as well. We can do it as a table as well. Many, many ways to solve this problem. So two would be another 18, and then three trucks would be another 18. So we can do three times 18, or we can do uh, 18 plus 18 gives you this number. This number plus another 18 would give you this number. Okay. Number six, write two ratios that are equivalent to 5, 6. Sorry about that. So if we take 5, 6. Sorry about that again. We take... Uh, no, no, why is it doing that? Okay, let's see if that works there. That should work. Okay, five, six, and you just need two equivalent ratios. That's what we've been doing in our math warm up uh, most days. So we just pick a number to multiply by. Can't choose one though. Let's say I choose two. That's going to be 10 over 12. That's going to give me one, and I'll let you find the other one because it does ask for two. So this would be one equivalent ratio, and I'll let you find the second equivalent ratio. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.